Figma just released a, an update to auto layout that works with interactive components and it's so good. And this is gonna skip many steps. And just before we jump into it, if you don't have uh, interactive components beta, I'll put the link in the description that you can sign up uh, for it here and it should be available to you um, shortly, it, but it's still in beta. So, uh, so how the new way that it works now is this, it's like pushing the content uh, below as it's expanding. So it's really good because before the way it used to work, it was something like this. So it would not work. It would have to create many different states or uh, yeah, many different states in, in your prototype to be able to actually show it. Like you would have to create a state that is like this. And then another one that's, let's say the first question is open um, or in this frame over here and then you would have to move it down and then and so forth like if you wanted to to have the second one open and the first one closed uh, and then now you can just do it like this one component auto layout uh, frame and you're good to go so this is how you would create it uh, I have the icon here text and another icon which is the chevron to just indicate the opening and closing I'm gonna wrap this into an, an auto layout and then fix the alignment here to middle left, name this the header, and then wrap this whole thing here, also wrap into an auto layout, and I'm gonna call this the accordion, which then I'm gonna make into the, the component by hitting Command Option K. I'm gonna add a variant to that, and then this first one's gonna be our closed one, which is the default. So I just hit that layer, um, and then I'm going to make this variant into an auto layout too, just to make things a, a bit tidier. And then now I'm going to organize this, call this open. And the first item is going to be, um, actually that one is false. It's not open. And the second element, second component is actually uh, open. So this is what this is going to be. Um, the variants so will make that Boolean um, toggle that you can just do something like this for um, the variant. So now all we need to do is actually just rotate this first and then now prototype this uh, using the interactive components um, feature which is I'm gonna actually select the header that's inside this to be the trigger and then once it moves there I'm gonna make it to a smart animate 300 is a bit too slow I like to make it a bit quicker quicker and snappier and I'm actually gonna create a, just a tiny bit of a bounce there because I just think it that makes it a bit more interesting and they remembered what I had before so now we're pretty much good to go all we need to do is have an auto layout frame uh, this is a vertical direction I added 16 pixel padding in between I'm gonna pass that paste that here oops I pasted the wrong component um, that again so okay so now all we need is duplicating that first one and let's just work with th three for now and we're pretty much done here when you check on the prototype mode you will already know that it should push the contents below to allow for the content inside the accordion or the auto layout frame to to display correctly here which is pretty neat really awesome because you can do this is super clean and it's a much easier way of creating it than what, what we used to have to do and I hope this is helpful let me know if you have any questions uh, thanks for watching